Hello and uh, welcome to another playbook. Uh, in this playbook, we are going to talk about mathematical thinking and three books that I would recommend to anyone, any product builder, whether you're an engineer or a product manager or a designer, to develop mathematical thinking. And in fact, sort of go a little bit deeper and not so necessarily sort of think about what mathematical thinking is, but essentially what are the basics of mathematical thinking and how one develops this, this way of thinking. Mathematical thinking in itself is is very critical because this is the path towards both figuring out analytical thinking, which is breaking down a problem into its core components and sort of understanding how each of those parts works, and systems thinking, which is thinking of it as a whole and how uh, the entire uh, gamut of things fits into a bigger scheme of things, so how, how entire systems work, right? So both analytical thinking and systems thinking are very dependent on us having a mathematical frame of mind. Uh, the weird part is, especially for all of us who sort of did maths in school and sort of did maths in college, you know, a whole bunch of folks who are uh, engineering graduates seem to think that by default, they should be good at mathematical thinking. The strange part is being good at math and sort of being able to do math in school well or getting good grades in math doesn't necessarily lead to good mathematical thinking. I find a lot of engineers around me and a lot of people who went to engineering school with incredibly poor mathematical thinking skills, right? They, are, they, they don't understand numbers inherently and they don't understand the numbers that are around us in day-to-day -day life. So for people who are building products, uh, it is very in critical to understand how math works in the real world, how decisions are affected by math, how uh, the world around us, you know, the, 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 the kind of decisions governments take, uh, you know, we, we, are, we are living through a raging pandemic right now, which is which has thrown a whole bunch of math at people in terms of how many people are sick, how many people are being hospitalized, being able to understand the math around us. And in our online lives, math is even more profoundly available, right? Whether it's e-commerce and whether it's, uh, it's personalization algorithms and whether it's social media. So there is data all around us and there is an underlying math to everything that we do. So understanding this is super critical for us to actually succeed as product builders. And I think one of the steps there is to build analytical thinking and systems thinking. And for that, we need mathematical thinking. So I hope that these three books will actually uh, give you an insight into what mathematical thinking is uh, and help you build a, a foundation of that. So let's jump in. The first book that I highly recommend is uh, John Allen Paolo's uh, classic in numeracy. He, he wrote it back in the late 80s, if I'm not mistaken, and it's been around for a really long time. But essentially, he's comparing mathematical illiteracy to a, to, to a, to a different form of uh, illiteracy, and he, he's called it in numeracy, right? And essentially, he's dealing with subjects like, why do a lot of smart people don't understand mathematics? And when a lot of smart people don't understand mathematics, what is the cost of this to the rest of society? What is the cost of mathematical illiteracy to the rest of society? And it, it sort of, you can see it in poor personal decisions. You can see it in the rise of pseudoscience and people believing everything that they read in magazines. And, and of course, the biggest one, it leads to really poor government policies and policies built by think tanks because a lot of pe smart people don't understand mathematics. And when you don't understand mathematics, it leads to wrong policies being created. So I would highly recommend that we, that everyone read in numeracy just to sort of understand the math around them and sort of the kind of pitfalls we fall into when we are not mathematically literate. The second book that I would highly recommend is How Not to Be Wrong by Jordan Ellenberg in which he talks about the hidden maths of everyday life. Uh, and we are surrounded by math. We are surrounded by math in, in various ways. And one of my favorite uh, parts of Jordan Ellenberg's book is, is, uh, is a classic story of Abraham Wald and the missing bullets. And I've discussed this in detail in, uh, in my video on survivorship bias, but it's one of my favorite anecdotes about how missing data leads to really poor choices, uh, right? Simple day-to-day -day thinking to complex decision-making are all affected by math, right? So math affects very simple choices in terms of which city should I move to, but then it sort of affects very, very difficult, complex decision-making choices as well, uh, right? So whether you are doing quartic functions or whether you're trying to understand the basics of Bayes' theorem, uh, Ellenberg talks about the different kind of mathematical principles used in various places. So whether it's the lottery system or uh, whether it's things like survivorship bias and how sort of car safety mechanisms are built, 
it's a really important book to read to sort of understand where all math sort of fits in in our everyday life and understanding this will help you appreciate the math around you but also sort of appreciate uh, the kind of things which go into building things and underlying uh, understanding the underlying mathematical layer right the last book that i recommend is uh, christian rudder's data classism now christian rudder is the uh, is one of the founders of uh, the highly successful dating website okcupid and he wrote this book a while back but data classism essentially deals with how online data affects our offline lives given that the amount of data that exists online is massive right now everything that we do is tracked in some way or the other you know whether it's e-commerce whether it's search whether it's uh, whether it's our presence on social media and by tracking this data and actually inferring this data a lot can be understood by people a lot can be understood about the way people think so being able to make sense of large troves of online data is super critical in this day and age uh what about our users data uh, you know what does our users data tell us about them having a clearer understanding of this is is a must and of course how do we think about privacy in in all of this so i think with these three books if if, if you read them in this order which is sort of enumeracy how not to be wrong and then data classism you'll sort of try and understand where math sort of where we fail in our math education and understanding math in the world around us where all will be find math in the world around us and then the usage of this math and this data in our online lives which which is sort of with these three things you'll have you'll develop a very comprehensive understanding of data of the math around you and build a foundation for mathematical thinking which is super critical for you as a product builder uh, i highly recommend these three books for for anyone who's trying to sort of get into the field of product building if you're already a product builder still read these three books because they'll help you build better products for everyone around you so i hope you've been enjoying these playbooks uh see you here next time do subscribe and uh, take care bye